Hey, welcome back to another Ink Luxie Poo. Anyway, <laughs> what I did um, past week ago, I bought some uh, Mont Blanc inks. And today, doo -doo 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 -doo, this is what I'm going to be showing you a little Luxie Poo of what I bought. And this is the color it is Homer Greek Blue. It looks pretty on the package. Pretty cool. This is a 50 milliliter bottle. I like the sketching on the back. Here's the other side. Flip it. And there's the bottom. Okay. Let's open this bad puppy. And I am doing this one handed, of course. Because I'm holding the camera with one. Come on. Come on. Let's look at me fight with this stinking box for a while. Jokes. Anyway. Once you get it open, you look at your ink. It comes with a little plastic cat. Ta-da! And of course he comes with some instructions. And here is the 50 milliliter bottle. So pretty. Let's see what else is inside. Nothing. <laughs> anyway, that's the bottle. It has a little star on top, which everybody knows. Put his little plastic cap back on him. Put his little instruction guy back. All right. What I used is I used this Conklin. And for some reason, this guy's usually pretty juicy with it, everything. This time, he's just that. I am not going to go for the dink. I'll show you why in a minute. Then, I threw it in my other ink. It's a, is it a Bruno? And this is a very heavy, wet flowing pen. And you'll see the difference in the writing between these two. All right, here we go. We are off to the races. Let's look at some writing. You can see there it was in the Conklin, Mont Blanc, uh, Homer, um, Greek Blue. I did it with the Conklin, my little scrubby. The 50 milliliter bottle. The color they're shooting for is a blue. The pins of Conklin. It's a medium nib. Crushed the rhodia paper. Then I did the alphabet. You could just tell it was like shading and just like felt dry and scratchy. Just, just wasn't. I don't know. It just wasn't working for me. And you could see it. The dry time wasn't so hot. Just when it was barely writing. But then I thought to myself, could it just be the pin? Could be. So what I did, I started in a little drop, a little water drop box, and then I was like, all right, I'm gonna have to switch your pen. Because, you know, some inks don't always work with pens. So, you just got to kind of see what works with you. So, that's why I changed it to the other pen. And right there, it shows that it is a heavier, wetter pen. And, yeah, it took like 37 seconds by the look of that swatching on that. We'll just say 40 be on the safe side because it's a wet flowing pen. And it is a medium nib. And, of course, I did another water drop test with the, um, the Bruno, and you can see it did lift up. Alright, here's my math here for you guys. It's a 50 milliliter bottle. The price is $43, is which I paid as of September 2018, which equals out to $0.86 cents per milliliter. Okay, and then um, uh, they did not have these in ink cartridges. So I just only come in bottle form. Um, if it was a cartridge, guess what? I would have bought it. Okay, um, the Bruno pin is what I use on this side. And you can see how that scrubby is a lot darker than the upper scrubby. Let me see if there's a way to fold this paper to kind of show you. Foldy fold fold. Could you see that? Conklin Bruno. Conklin Bruno. Anyway. I would advise to put this in a nice wet pen. Because look at my my scripts. I'm going to throw in my little book. My catalog book. That is so pretty. 
Tankleton, no. Brina, yes. So, it's a pretty blue, don't get me wrong. Um, find a pin that works good, that writes nice and wet, and I guarantee this will be a pretty good writing blue for you. Well, I hope you liked this. I hope you enjoyed what I did. If you do like the stuff that I'm doing, uh, give me a thumbs up on this. And if you don't mind, subscribing so you can check me out and uh, know when I'm uploading new videos and stuff. Right now, I'm back into ink. I'm just filling ink right now. Um, of course, if you noticed, um, I go through spurts. I do cards. I do ink. I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I fall off the earth sometimes. <laughs> yeah, like you guys know, I all summer. Nada. Alright. Uh, catch y'all later. Alright. Bye.